Good morning. Um, I'm popping in really quickly today um, to talk about uh, something I'm really passionate about with as as a business um, and a business with a heart. And it, you know, let's face facts, it can be a little bit more tricky if you're a business who is also trying to follow kind of like ethical and moral rules and so on. Now, I'm going to also share this video. And the reason is, ironically part of what I'm talking about so let me just share it where is it where is it where is it there we go right now I have got a Facebook group um, which if you're a, a business um, you might want to join it's called business with a heart there we go ah, so reciprocity Reciproc uh, do you know what? The problem with reciprocal stuff is um, I really struggle with the word reciprocity. Um, it's a lovely word, but I can't say it for the life of me. Right then. There we go. I'm going to post that into my Facebook group. So come join Business with the Heart. Oh, hello, Sylvia. Hi. Thank you for coming. Um, and I'm also going to... Oh, I'm also going to share into a Facebook group. Now, those of you who are running a business and need a little bit of social media help, maybe you should have a look um, at um, a social media and very intuitive coach called Inga, Inga Dexney. Um, she is amazing and really understands this whole reciprocal rela relationship and so on. Uh, reciprocity. Oh, I can't say it for the life of me. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. Um, yeah, my hair. Yeah, today my hair. I lost um, complete control of my hair today. I have uh, tried to order some uh, products in order to maintain some semblance of <laughs> control over it, but I haven't got any. <laughs> so there we go. Now, I am really really passionate about this subject about creating good relationships reciprocal relationships and um, trying to remember to help other businesses as well as your own it's a cool it's a it's a source to me of frustration and slight um, confusion to be honest as to why some people don't always get it but I understand we're very very busy we're often a little bit stressed and, um, and and you can become very, very insular. Hi, Sonia. Hi, lovely. So yeah, when you're very stressed and, and so on, you become very, very insular and you're, you're looking in your in your own little world. And, and yes, you see a, 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 another small business owner and they, they like your post and they, um, they, you know, they share your post maybe, or they put a comment on your blog post, or or um, maybe they share your stuff into a Facebook group that where it's, you know, really relevant. Um, and you think, oh, that's lovely, and you thank them. And then that's as far as it goes. No. Go further. Think about it. You don't have to have hundreds of these relationships, but there are some people that you're going to really, really connect to. Either you connect to the, the person and you really, really believe in what they're doing. Maybe um, you connect to their business and maybe there's maybe, um, you know, it makes a lot of sense to actually work with them. Um, for instance, you know, I do weddings. So, you know, um, I'm obviously going to start to build a relationship. There's a lovely local florist and so on. So, but sometimes it's just a heartfelt connection um, that, you know, sometimes that's what you're, that, that's all you need. So look at these people, like their Facebook pages, set notifications to first so you don't miss anything, you know, and where it's relevant to your customers and where it's, Hi Debbie, hi Debbie, hi Granny. Debbie, you are a brilliant example of what I'm talking here. Yeah, so so like those Facebook pages, set notifications first so you don't miss anything. And, and when they share something which is relevant to your clients, share it for them. It makes a massive difference to their social media strategy, but also for your customers. If you're sharing, you don't want to be doing promotion after promotion after promotion. I mean, like, yawn, you know. So you can be sharing something really, really helpful 
to your friends or to your clients that um, is useful information and that's also useful for that person. Um, don't forget as well that um, sometimes you can do joint promotions, sometimes you can, you know, come together and um, and do things together. See, in business, I'll probably talk about it another time, I really don't recommend discounting. Discounting is, is not good. Add value instead. Come together with somebody else and add value to your services when you need to Im improve things. Again, another place that reciprocal relationships really, um, really, really work. They really do. Hi, Layla. Nice to see you. So, um, so have a little look. You know, somebody comments on your blog, comment on theirs. You know, have a read of this. I know that there are a few people who are like massively busy and really, 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 really important. And you know, I share their stuff sometimes, and I won't, I wouldn't expect to get a reply. But you know what? There was somebody on the telly the other day, and um, I happen to already know her post. So she's in the beauty industry, but I mean, she is mega. She has made like a thirty million pound business. Um, but she was on the telly, and she really, a, she really, really inspired me with her honesty and her transparency and her realness. And B, I mean, oh my goodness, what a business she has made. Um, but there were some things on there and I really felt for her. It was, it was a little bit harsh, this program. Somebody was quite mean to her and stuff. And um, I found her on Facebook and I added her as a friend. I thought, oh, she's never going to accept me, but at least I'll be following. I'll be able to see what she's up to. I'll learn lots, you know, from her and so on. Um, but no, she did. She accepted me as a friend and we had a really nice chit chat. Um... And it was just really lovely and I'm sure again that that's somebody that you know maybe there's something in the future so um, again this this is all about looking for reciprocal relationships make sure that you um, are helping other businesses look for good karma you know what you give out comes back and I have an amazing tip I mentioned Inga Dexney earlier on I'll put a link to her name in the in the comments because you might not know how to spell it we were chatting about this last night um, on social media. See, I've got really good friends on social media. Never underestimate how good a relationship can get on social media. And she said, so I said, oh, but I can't help these particular people. I'm feeling really guilty tonight that I can't help them because I'm not going to be um, around at the time that they do their Facebook Live because we're very supportive in our group and we support each other. And funnily enough, they're watching. So hello, Sylvia, and hello, Sonia. And she said, remember, just pay it forward. If you can't help the business that helped you, pay it forward to another business and I believe that karma will come around and I think Inga is really, really right. So if someone's helped you and for some reason you can't help them, help somebody else. Um, so reciprocal relationships, that's what I'm trying, hoping to really, really encourage people to do, creating that sense of community and coming together. Hi Bernadette, hi. Um, take care guys and um, good luck with all of your businesses. Um, we are, us businesses with heart are going to take over the world. That's the plan. See you. Bye.